Well, it's early July. That means it's time to start getting ready for the hunts. Some of you guys might do this year round, but uh, we just go hard the month before. So we're up here on the mountain, here with my pal Troy, and uh, we're gonna shoot some bows. We're gonna set some trail cameras. We're gonna go look for some deer, maybe some elk. So it's gonna be a pretty solid weekend, and uh, it's gonna be rad. So we decided after well, a couple hours of shooting our bows, getting them dialed in and shooting perfect, decided we're gonna head up, shoot some rock chucks, film that. So uh, it's gonna be a good time. You guys should come with us if you want, whatever. You're your own boss, you can do what you want. Our predator called him. <laughs> We've been assassinating Chucks. As you saw in the footage. Now we're gonna walk up and take a look at these trophies of lifetimes. Troy's a killer. He went two for two. I went one for one. So uh, let's go look at these babies. It's gonna be a big taxidermy bill and a, we're gonna have to end up paying for some serious meat processing, but these beautiful animals are so worth it. He's down right up here. What a beautiful animal. This is this is my dream chuck. You guys have to see this chuck. This is truly the chuck of a lifetime. This is everything I was hoping for. It's been really good eating. Imagine how fat he would have been if his guts were still inside of him. <laughs> I'm thankful for everybody that made this possible. I find sponsors that made it so I could do this today. So thank you guys. <laughs> we're lucky enough to get my Rock Chuck recovered without much tracking. He's in the pack. We got him quartered out. He's gonna be good eating. We're gonna go back to the cabin and cook him up right now. Troy was lucky enough to take two um, younger, probably better eating Rock Chucks. So we're gonna go down here and uh, see if we can't recover them. Man, we've been tracking this thing for pushing pushing a minute 30. Um, it's not looking good. We were hopeful when we watched the footage because we saw a little bit of uh, brain matter fly into the air. Um, we just gotta do everything we can. We owe that to the animal. So we're gonna keep tracking this thing. Guys, here's an update. Two and a half minutes into this uh, tracking job and we're running on fumes. I don't know what to tell you. Um, I can see the other one. 
right there, but this one is just really giving us a run around. So we're, we'll stay out here for, who knows, five minutes if we have to. We're gonna get this thing bound. These guys, when you really have to stick with it, um, it's getting rough. Three and a half minutes into this tracking job now, and we're at our wits end. I mean, we've watched the footage. I mean, how many times we watched the footage? Tw uh, once. Maybe once. Once or twice. Yeah, twice. I don't know what to think right now. So I think I'm gonna shut the video off, and uh, we're gonna collect ourselves a little bit. You guys, we got blood. Man, we we're like, what? Seven minutes into this? Yeah, I, I, I'm like, no, I, I almost gave up. I thought we were gonna lose him. I, was, I thought it was over. Really, my spirits were down. But we, we've got good blood. We're gonna go from here. We think he might be down right here in front of us, but we're gonna, do you even dare look at this point? I just, I just don't even know what to tell you. I just, there was the, the highs, the lows. It's just really, really disheartening. Um, well, that's hunting, you know? When, yeah, that's hunting when you, when you search for approximately seven and a half minutes. That is the worst. Do you see these chills? Do you see these chills right now? Those are real. That's Those are, real that's emotion. Real. That's, that's real emotion. You can't fake cold chills. Yeah. <sighs> Pull him out of there. I mean, that's a trophy. I, I, He's a trophy to you. He has a very similar look. Though. That's a very, very healthy eater to a whole bunch. So... Yeah, he's, oh wow, dude. Talk about a well-placed shot. Just here. That is gonna feed our family for generations. We're gonna show you guys how to cook rock chuck. I should have filmed the preparation probably um, of the meat to get it to this stage, but uh, I was out, we were kinda out of light, so we're just gonna kinda roll with it as it is. Already got pepper there. So the rock chuck has what's called a rib roll on it. It's a nice flank steak, like a London almost broil, like a, a rib cut of uh, beef. But this is what we have right here. Most of the rock chucks um, are really high in fat, but this one had a really good clean um, flank uh, rib roll on each side. So we're just gonna get basic seasonings. The first thing is these rock chucks have a sweet flavor to them, and so it's nice to counteract that with a little bit of salt. It does really well. Oh, uh, you can't have too much pepper. That's always my motto anyway. So we're just going to season these things up and then uh, we've got a grill outside. We're just going to barbecue them just like you would a good cut of beef. So, so we've got our uh, rock chucks seasoned. Um, they've been sitting in the rub for a little while. We've got our grill heated up here. Um, so we're just going to grill them like you cook a steak or whatever, you know. Almost not room for both of them on this grill. So there it is, all said and done. Nice crisscross grill marks on that um, rock chuck. And it turned out good. And I'm gonna show you guys how this stuff turned out. I was like, you're supposed to cook this stuff well done, but I live by my own, play by my own rules. So that right there is actually about medium. You wanna see what you think? Oh yeah. That's about right. It's got like a nice porky quality to it. Yeah. Eight out of ten. Well, we hiked up in here to a spot that holds a couple elk every now and then. This is a super low elk density unit that we're hunting this year over the counter. We're going to hunt an archery. Basically, it's a wing and a prayer kind of a place. Um, we found a little bit of elk sign on the way in. We found one wall that it looks like they're messing with a little bit, so we're going to throw a camera up just to see what's here. There's a lot of bear sign, so maybe we'll get some bears on camera, that'd be cool too. So either way, um, we're just gonna throw it up and just gonna put it on this little wallow right here. It doesn't look like much and it's not really much, but it's uh, hopefully gonna get the job done. Got a little spring running down next to it right here and there's not a whole lot of water up here this year. So uh, hopefully it all goes well. Got this, uh, Stealth cam we're gonna put up I'm gonna put it on video mode. I never do that. I always just get pictures, but I'm gonna put it on video and see if we can get some cool video of it So it's gonna be it's gonna be something different to try right T-Roy. Yeah yep, I'm doing I like your input so Thank far. You. Thank you. You guys this is my friend Troy. Yeah, uh, he doesn't have social media Hi. 
so we're hiking out of here. We just put a trail camera up. We're cutting across through some other country. I want to show you guys this. It's pretty cool. Um, we've seen this in probably 10 or so trees in this area today, five or 10. I've seen bears in here before. I just thought this was kind of sweet. I'm sure you guys see this when you're out in the hills quite a bit. See where a bear went all the way up that thing. I mean, clear up almost to the top. There's bear claws going. It's pretty cool. It's pretty amazing to see those things climb. I've heard stories of them climbing people's tree stands and people kind of losing their crap, but I don't know, they must be wimps because that wouldn't sound very scary to me.